He's got he's got ice in his veins. There, there's not much to be said. You know, he's he's uh, as cool as it gets. You've got confidence that he's going to nail it every single time he steps up there. Um, you know, he definitely could have gone from longer out than what we kicked it from. We felt confidence, you know, to really around the be on the 40 yard line there. Uh, so he just steps up. The moment's never too big for him. We're happy to have him. Oh, that guy's unbelievable. He said so. He was talking to Brandon as he was going out to kick. He gave a little warm up swing and he said. Ah, uh, looks like we're going to the AFC Championship right before he went out there to kick it. Zach Taylor and Joe Burrow both heaping praise on Evan McPherson, the rookie kicker that was drafted by the Bengals and has been incredible. Eight for eight on field goals in the postseason and delivered the game winner to propel the Bengals to the AFC Championship for the first time since 1988. They've been to two prior Super Bowls. <laughs> They've played the 49ers in both of them. And look who's Wouldn't there. Wouldn't that be they, something? That Wouldn't amazing, that be right? something if I it's know. 49ers, Bengals again for Super Bowl 56? But, you know, hey, Joe Burrow still hasn't gotten the memo that they're not supposed to be this good this year. They're not supposed to be contending for a Super Bowl berth. They're not supposed to be beating the number one seeds on their own field. They weren't supposed to. Well, they yeah, we kind of thought they'd beat the Raiders. But I didn't think they'd win on Saturday. But, you know, th this is who they are. They just keep coming, and uh, they, they, they keep taking. They're not going to sit around and ask permission for anything. They're just going to take it. And that's the attitude that Burrow has, and I think it's trickled down to everyone else on the team, Chris. Well, yeah, I agree. I mean, they got they got playmakers across the board. That's the first thing. They got guys that can make plays at any given moment that you go, oh, no, this team had momentum, and now they don't because Jamar Chase just caught a screen pass and ran 60 yards down the sideline, and now momentum's back on our side. So they have that type, and they are they have that kind of attitude where it's like, I don't know if it's just they're, are they young and that cool, or are they young and they don't even realize the magnitude of the situation situation they're in either way they don't seem to be phased by anything right now it's, it's it's amazing burrow he's got like what we've talked about with Mahomes and allen it just doesn't no nothing phases him doesn't matter oh you're getting you're you're getting your head knocked off for the 25th time in the silver game oh just get up and throw a strike next play no big deal it's it's unreal that way as far as how the bangles are made up you're right I, I they just continue to answer the bell i think between their playmaking ability and you know not making a crucial mistake for the most part and being the young team that's inexperienced and not supposed to be you know that way there and then of course the Ryan Tannehill mistakes were the difference in the football game I mean that's really when you boil it down to it it comes down to that I mean Ryan Tannehill played some stupid football and that put the Titans in some bad situations, and that's not what you want to do because it just opened the door just enough to crack it open for Joe Burrow and Chase and Mixon to make a handful of plays with their stars to win them the football game, and that was uh, an incredible victory by them on the road on Saturday. The play we're showing right now was the first play from scrimmage in the game. Uh, look, you got Derrick Henry back. I, I think sometimes teams outsmart themselves. Hey, we're going we're gonna, to we're, we're gonna do play action on the first play of the game and throw a pass. I mean, if you're going to do that, throw a bomb. Don't, don't play this game where you're going to throw a 15-20 you know, yard route or use Derrick Henry. But three interceptions in all. And look, great play there by Mike, Mike Hilton. Hilton. Yeah, it was great. You right. know, and, sure. and the one here that decides the game. Why are you forcing it? Air. It's third and five. Right. You know, just there's no point to force it. So what? If you got a punt, you punt and you go into overtime and put the Bengals way down in their own territory. But this is just not the time to go, wait, I'm Brett Favre and I'm going to throw a laser in there. That's where Ryan Tannehill just, he did things that we don't really see him do a whole lot since he's been the quarterback of the Titans. The first interception like you're talking about, you know, he just stares at the receiver, stares at Julio Jones you know Jesse Bates is just sitting in the middle of the field and he just goes well I'll just follow his eyes I only see two receivers out and he just brought him right to the football you know, so Tannehill was really uh, a, a huge factor in this football game with the fact that he was just over aggressive and didn't do a good job evaluating the game as a whole and it started with this play right there you know yeah in the perfect world diagram it that play should be open he, that's where he's thinking, wait, if they play it the way they're supposed to play it, that should be open. But guess what? Jesse Bates is a football player. And, yeah, coach said to drop back into your third, but he said, wait, I've seen this play on film. And he reads the eyes and does that. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.